Hi everybody, Chris Ryman here. Welcome to episode 21 of Happy Work TV. I hope everyone is getting uh, ready for the holidays here at the Reimer House. We are just about ready, believe it or not. Everything's purchased, party is planned. I'm feeling content. Today we are going to talk about the next commitment in uh, the Happy Work Agreement. This is a commitment that employers are gonna make to employees and come to think of it, I feel like we could have made this a joint commitment. Um, for me, I felt like it was really important for employers to commit to this. Let me just read it and I, hopefully you'll understand why. Um, so this is an employer or manager speaking to their employees. It may have been a long time since I was last a blue collar worker. Perhaps I've never been anything but well off. This may cause me and my employees to think that we don't have much in common. In certain instances, that may be so. The entire point of the Happy Work Agreement is to foster understanding by at least imagining what it's like to walk in each other's shoes. So if you will try to do so, the employee, I will try as well. So just real briefly, um, this is an attempt to get employers to commit to try to understand what their employees are going through. Like I said, I feel like this could go either way. Um, we've talked about this in a previous video where you'll have an employee saying, or you'll have an employer saying to an employee, you're lucky to have a job here. No one wants to hear that. And you'll have employees thinking or saying back to their employer, well, you know, you're lucky to have me. And really neither is so. Uh, it's and, and when you decide to speak in that manner, you're immediately setting the other side, like you're knocking them off their feet a little bit. And unless that was your, the very point of doing it, you shouldn't say such things. So this was my attempt to get on the radar of employers and have them really understand what employees go through. Uh, it is true that you know the problems of an employee and the problems of an employer are gonna be very different. And then to an employee, the problems of an employer will seem small because they have money, so they have security. And I've always said, everyone's problems are r relative to them. I had lunch with a friend today who told me that he has, um, he has an acquaintance who is very, very wealthy, and they are putting a large addition on the back of their already really, really large house. And the person had complained, oh, I'm just, you know, they're living there through the construction. And he said, oh, I'm just so tired of it. You know, and in, it's just one of those things where just in light of what's going on in the world, all of the the, the suffering and the protests and the, the attempts to make the world better, when your mansion's getting an addition and you're living through it, like, is this really that much of a problem? I mean, to one person, they would say, get out of here. And to the person that's actually living through it, have you ever lived through construction? It's not fun. Better than not having a house to live in though. Everyone's problems are relative. And in this case, it would be best. That's why I say at the very end of it, um, the entire point of this agreement is to foster understanding by at least imagining what it's like to walk in each other's shoes. Can you imagine uh, an employer who would take the time to try to understand what their employees are going through? That's when you can get people to run through brick walls for you. So there is an ROI to actually caring about your employees and trying to understand what they go through in their lives. Their lives are very different than your life. It's true. Why not try to get to know them a little bit? You are going to be in the best position to create a work environment that works for your employees, which works for you. You will end up having a much more well-rounded and strong group of employees out there. It's excelling and exceeding and improving productivity for you. If you could just make a work environment that's good for them, but you can't do that if you don't understand them. So uh, that's why I put this in here. Ultimately, getting along at work is all about understanding where other people are coming from and gaining, taking the perspective of other people. When you take the perspective of others and understand it, it always changes the way that you think and the way that you act. And from what I've noticed at work, there are a lot of people that need to change the way they act, especially at work. You have been watching episode 27 of Happy Work TV. Thank you so much. Uh, happy holidays to all, and I will see you next time. Bye.